Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. Today we're in the fabrication shop at Junior Motorsports in Mooresville, North Carolina, talking about fabricating the lower control arm, or more commonly called the truck arm, of their NASCAR Xfinity Series Camaros. We'll be using the new Millermatic 211 for this project. Mongo, why don't you tell us about this project? This is a um, high stress part that NASCAR makes us weld to their NASCAR rule books. It is a piece that actually holds the rear end in the car and it's very important because it's got a lot of torque and stress on it and it has uh, changed quite often. We don't run about two races for each truck arm so we go through a lot of truck arms in a season. How long does it take to manufacture one of these? About a day and a half to do one complete, start to finish. So tell me more about the materials that you're working with here. It is actually a mild steel. NASCAR won't let us use the chrome molly, so everybody uses the stamped pieces. And there are two pieces and they are put together in this jig. And we square everything up so we can begin the welding process after everything's squared up. Everything gets plug welded and then everything gets marked out and gets welded and you do it in a sequence so it keeps everything, the heat stays equal in the whole piece. And we'll be using the new Millermatic 211 to MIG weld these truck arms. We'll be using an 030 70S6 wire with 7525 Argon CO2 gas. The new Millermatic 211 now has an inverter engine in it. The inverter engine gives us a lot of advantages over the previous model. One of those is size and weight. The new 211 is now about half the weight of the previous model making it much more portable. We've also added two additional handles on the machine to make it easier to carry. The Millermatic 211's inverter engine also has the ability to fine tune the welding arc depending upon the process you'll be using. The extra knob on the front of the machine can now select between flux core, mild steel with 7525 gas, mild steel with straight CO2 gas, stainless steel, or even aluminum. That knob changes the welding characteristic to give you the best weld for the material you will be welding with. For welding these truck arms, Mongo likes to use the machine in the manual mode. We're going to be taking the machine out of auto set. For the plug welding process, we'll be setting the machine at 5 on the voltage and 50 on the wire feed speed. So now we got our two pieces in the jig clamped up nice and square. We can take it out of the jig and begin our process of plug welding the holes up. So now that he's plug welded the two halves together, what are our next steps, Mongo? So now after we mark it out, then we'll weld it in a particular sequence so to keep the piece from warping. So you don't actually just start on one end and weld all the way down the piece? No, we'll weld a little here, a little on the top, a little flip it over and weld on the bottom to just distribute the heat equally. For this joint application, we're actually going to increase the voltage and wire feed speed slightly on the new Millermatic 211. Mongo's helmet is equipped with a Miller Cool Band. The Miller Cool Band circulates filtered air across the top of the head and face, allowing the operator to feel about 8 degrees cooler, making for a much more comfortable welding environment. Now that we've welded the top and bottom of this truck arm, what's the next sequence? So now it'll go back in the jig so we can locate our U-bolt bushings. 
and get them tacked into place and then we can take it back out and finish that process of welding. Now the U-bow bushings are actually a bit thicker again than the material that we have been welding. So that is also going to require a small machine adjustment. We will be increasing the voltage and wire feed speed one more time. Mongo has done the bulk of the welding on that lower control arm or truck arm. Here we have a good example of a completed product. You'll see we also have the monoball housing and shock mounts welded to the piece. After the welding is completed, where does this truck arm go from here? From here it'll go to the suspension room where those guys will have finished assembling it and designate it to a race car. For more information on the new Miller Matic 211, check out MillerWelds.com.